So the starters, all just qualifiers, have moved to earlier in the week. This week, they're normally on day three, they're on day one this week, so it's two and a quarter miles. It's not a one ten, so a pretty low grade version of this, and that's probably why we've only got five runners. Well, we've got six runners, to be fair. And the top day today, Martin Leadham, King of Points, Darren Thompson, Ale of the North, Padraig Hogan, House Arrest, Josh Sutherland, Newton Lodge, Stu Gray, and Wondesta Fable for Daniel French. So just six of them then. Oh, there they go. And King of Points. And one Lester Fable disputing the early lead. Uh, surprising to see here then with the uh, banding at 0 to 110. We've got three of the top five trainers represented in this as they get over the first of the 14 fences. Just David Hooley and Leon Ran Rensburg missing from the top five. And it's one Lester Fable who's in the lead from King of Points in second. Then Newton Lodge is third. Day to Day is fourth. And then House Arrest and Ella of the North as they get over the second. Racing down towards the third of the 14 fences. And they're all over that one safely. One Lester Fable in the lead for Daniel French, the man of many colours. Lots of different silks on his horses. And he particularly well in the Hunter Chases a few seasons ago as well. But he's taking a step up. Now one day today has gone there and so is Newton Lodge. So two fallers out of that one day today. Has now raced three times since coming in in the mid-season and it's fell every single time so that one will probably go and win the Arkle next week. Anyway it's one best fable in the lead from King of Points in second and House Arrest is third and Ella of the North is fourth and they're the only four left and if they all stay on their feet they'll all qualify for the final. No one best fable it is then who gets over the fifth in the lead from King of Points in second and then House Arrest and Ella of the North together as they get to the sixth Desta Fable is clear. Bowling along in front. Both of those horses have fell fell independently. Both crashing falls at the same time. And coming up past the stand then. Past the winning post shortly. There we go. Past the winning post. Then one more circuit to go. And one Desta Fable is clear in the lead by two and a half lengths. Two house arrest in second. And king of points in third. And then Ella the North in fourth. Oh, well, that's the favourite is then for Daniel French in the lead. Leading by a good three lengths to King of Points on the inside as they get over the eighth. King of Points for Darren Thompson, who's currently sitting in fourth place in the trainer's title. Over the jumps. He's doing well in the flat as well. Joshua Sutherland back in third with House Arrest. He's currently sharing the lead with Leon Van Rensburg as they get over that ditch. And then a bit of a gap back to Ella the North. Padraig Hogan, who's, I believe, back in the jumps sphere for the first time for a few seasons and not doing too badly at all. Anyway, it's one Nesta Fable in the lead from King of Points in second. House Arrest is third and a gap of six lengths then to Ella the North. Is in fourth place as they get over the 11th and probably be just happy to complete the course and qualify for the final. You never know what's going to happen in that final week. Some years we get a big field with high top weight, and other years we just get five or six turn up. Depends how some of them have progressed throughout the season and what else is on on that particular day. Well, it's one best of fable who's clear in front over the third last from King of Points who looks to be going exceptionally well in second it appears to be a matter of time really before King of Points gets into the lead they've only got one more to take now House Arrest looks to be a little one pace maybe not the brightest light in the Joshua Sutherland yard but Von Desta Fable is in the lead and they've already jumped the last they've got half a furlong to go and King of Points hasn't picked up at all and Von Desta Fable looks like he's going to take this pretty comfortably to be fair and one Desta Fable takes it hard held from House Arrest and King of Points and then out of a north so apart from the four early on the jewel four early on of those two horses it was a pretty uneventful race to be fair and one Desta Fable takes it for Daniel French he won't mind about that and King of Points a bit disappointed in second and I think Joshua Sullivan is pretty disappointed with House Arrest in third as well out of a north for Padraig Hogan was fourth.